We we'll begin tonight with a developing story. It's been one week since Savannah Graywin disappeared, and despite all the time and energy put into finding her, she remains missing. Today, the Fargo Police Department says their detectives are following up on leads, searching out over in Dilworth with specially trained canines meant to sniff out placenta. They're also going through hours of video surveillance video from cameras to try and figure out where William Holm and Brooke Cruz were during their critical hours surrounding Graywin's disappearance. Hone and Cruz are in the Cass County Jail facing charges related to the kidnapping of Savannah. Their arrest came right after a newborn baby was found in the apartment where Cruz lives on Thursday. Now this is important because Savannah was eight months pregnant when she went missing. DNA tests will prove whether or not the baby is Savannah's, but police have said they do think it's hers. Our reporter Molly Casey shares with us what the community is doing in response to Savannah's disappearance. This kind of hits home for me. For Benny Schill, Savannah Graywin's disappearance is too familiar. Schill has family in Belcourt, where Savannah is from, and has a deeper understanding of what her family is going through. I've had family members disappear, and, well, it involves a child, and that's more upsetting for me. His group, After Dark Trucks, heard about the search for Savannah and decided to put their all-terrain vehicles to good use. I'm going over in the backside here. There's a couple trails back down in there, and I'm going to go drive them. Through Friday night into Saturday, volunteer search teams followed up on multiple leads, some more promising than others. Basically, we've moved into a lot of different areas throughout a 12-mile radius now instead of a two. MJ Krogh says volunteers have searched outside of the Fargo-Moorhead area off of tips, but the lack of results has taken its toll. It seems like it's a huge puzzle and the pieces are starting to come together, but we'll never have every piece. Police have also been actively searching areas of interest, posting this video to Facebook. But volunteers like Shill will continue to do their part too. That's, I mean, our biggest goal is to try and help find Savannah. Search organizers invite anyone who is willing to help in the search for Savannah to watch for updates on their Facebook page. And a link to that site is on our website at valleynewslive.com.